right now. Okay, so welcome back everyone to uh, some more co-op stuff with Blue Silence. Say hello. Good evening, hello. Good evening. Oh, it's only evening. Oh, it's eleven thirty no. in the morning. What are you talking about? Oh no, what have I done? It's evening here. What? No. That's there's <laughs> no such thing. That's just a myth. They made it up. Okay, so uh, we're back with more <laughs> Deep Elf Conjurer, and uh, we finally got to Lair after two videos, so, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Anyway, so, the, like I said, this, I'm not sure if this series comes out, uh, this video will come out, like, the day after part two, mostly because um, it might take too long to finish this series in one shot, and I don't want to be forcing Blue to record with me for, like, half a month straight. That seems kind of unfair for her, so... You know, not everyone has the same schedule as myself, and it's kind of hard to get all that stuff done. So, for now, we'll just, we'll take it slow on the videos. Um, I'll probably explain it in one of the videos that I release for myself, uh, with just me. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, you won't see this, you probably won't see this video for a while. You might see it, but, you know, you won't see all of them. Alright, so you can do some inventory management here. I think that's probably... Yeah, this is where I usually drop a bunch of stuff. I would have dropped it all like ages ago, but that's no big deal. Oh, I'm sorry. I was listening. Oh no, no, no. I mean like, like on D like oh. seven. Oh, as you're going. Yeah, yeah, like I don't, I don't drop things in layer anymore, just because having a stash is fine, but it's kind of like, I don't know. When I see someone with a big stash in layer, like you can tell they're a new player because they they focus way too much on stuff that doesn't matter. But it's like it's not a big deal. It's just it's just a one way that you can like identify who doesn't know exactly what they're doing. Okay, that's an interesting pickup, Conjure Flame. Probably not useful at this stage in the game, but you could still find really? some way to use it. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I, I usually, don't know what I usually use it in layer. Oh. Okay. Well we'll, we'll like see how that goes. The axe and such. Probably don't need the stones anymore. It. Oh, yeah, you think? Okay, hold on. Also, what would make sure you ID your potions or your scrolls while you have the chance. The staff of air is also useless. I would have staff kept the flail of protection. Oh. You have a very interesting way of dropping the useful things and keeping the useless things. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna. I don't know how that's gonna work out for you. <laughs> oh uh. no! It's, here we go. Okay, let's see here. So identify. <laughs> What should we identify? Probably um, three dark potions. Yeah. Yeah. So read read the scrolls that have stacks on them, like three and four. Yep. Just because you can figure out what they are. Enchant can go on the troll leather armor if you want to use that. So like I said, it's not a bad pick to have the troll leather armor. It will cut your yeah. spell failure down a little bit, but um, it's usually pretty good. A bit heavier than your robe, and it will give you regen. Can also be enchanted to plus four instead of plus uh, uh plus two, which gives you two extra AC on top of that, which is pretty good. So if you did if you did enchant it, I would probably wear it at this point. But you would check your uh, stats first. Oh, let's see. Check your 12, skills. 15. Check your spell value. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, so that's still fine. Um, but check. I think look we'll be at, okay. Yeah, look at your uh. So what you do now is uh, go back. Mm -hmm. So you look at your AC and EV. It's twenty six, right? So if you switch back to the robe, yeah. how much do you have? Twenty seven. So this is yes. slightly better. I think at this stage in the game, the robes are still yeah, slightly well, better. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, and why do I still have the stones? Why leave it? You can just pick it up, though. You can keep it in your inventory. It's not a big deal. It's just that, like, like I, I could find. Another couple of items that I would have dropped, like the Immolation Scroll, before I would have dropped the uh, Enchant, but that's whatever. Um, Acid's pretty good, and you can always ID that eventually. And let's just drop this, and there we go. I think that's good enough for now. God. <sighs> how, how, long, how far are we into the video? We're almost five minutes in already. This is like the first <laughs> let's three go! seconds of, of the entire video for me. All right, excellent work. So for the most part, I'm just going to be like providing random side commentary for now. We'll see how you do. Okay. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> like 
Ooh, conjuration stuff. But you already got one, so I guess it doesn't matter. I that one. So this stage, like, I think that Conjure, like I said, Conjure Flame <clears throat> tends to have less effectiveness here. Mostly because things don't walk into it, and you're usually wasting mana for it. And a lot of the time, Lair is quite open like this, and you won't have a lot mm -hmm. of time to set up Conjure Flame. And it's also nerfed because of the uh, Clouds nerf. So once it leaves your LOS, it instantly dissipates. <clears throat> okay, I don't know why my throat just, like, completely closed up, but yeah. <clears throat> Don't die. Uh, it's gonna be hard. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't won DCJ. You can't die. <clears throat> I'm glad to see that I was useful. <clears throat> oh god, <laughs> I still can't. Okay. Yeah, it was a rough night last night for all of us combined. Yeah. Yeah. I I slept at a, at an appropriate time, a very a very nice two o'clock in the morning, which is very early for me, especially in these really like free days and uh yeah that was not a good night it was either really hot or really cold i couldn't tell but uh had like one one of the nine dreams that i have spoken about uh that i will speak about right now which i will speak about okay. in my other video but for now we'll just <laughs> spoiler it here so you'll be able to hear it in advance uh but like i was i was with someone ran i think it was in the city or something it wasn't it mustn't have been in sydney because uh, it was really cold, like so cold that I lost all feeling in my uh, my right side of the entire right side of my body, and I also lost the oh, ability no. to talk. It was it was really weird. Like I spent almost an hour in like this state where I was like pretty much paralyzed, and it was it was a weird. And that was one of nine. That was the first one. But that then, but that sounds like a stroke. Doesn't that sound yeah, like a stroke? Yeah. Look, I think I was just lying on my right <laughs> side, and all the circulation in my blood. <laughs> Uh, all, okay, like, okay. It went out because I like literally was in that dream and I was like, I right, cut cuts to cut go home home. Like I was at a train station. I was like trying to get home, but it was like so cold I couldn't move. Oh, it was a good time. But yeah, that was that was ugh. like I've like I don't know if it's lucid if you can feel your Oops. your man. You're really doing this quite poorly. I screwed that up. That's all right. No. I was, I was I was trying to listen to your story. That's what, why. You can't listen to your story and play crawl at fifty miles a minute, fifty miles a second. Like, no, I come can't. on. What is this? What are you? Not me. So you're out of mana now. You should back off. Yeah. The staff looks like it could be no. Okay. 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 Another tip. New hot tip coming in. When you're on the yeah. downstairs and you're going upstairs and there's an enemy right next to you on low health and you have mana still blow the mana to kill it because now you've okay. reset the fight and you have to fight him again basically it's just but there was you, a black bear right there that doesn't it doesn't matter you 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 cut an enemy down and you can walk away from black bears because they're 10 speed and worst come yeah. to worst you can teleport but nine ninety nine 99 times out of 100 that saved right. you a fight because you actually had to fight that yak three times now i was watching that same yak you had to fight because you just kept like leaving it at like one hp even a magic dart would have just probably finished it off. Okay, so in this scenario so. here, I wouldn't be using my Okay, you're you're wasting way too many too much mana on your battle sphere. You've already cast like what, twelve mana on the battle sphere? Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't actually mean to cast that, I'm sorry. Yeah, you Go actually ahead. haven't used any spells yet. Uh <laughs> so just hit him with like something. Okay, you you need to be very aware of how you lure enemies. You just walk yourself away from the downstairs or from the upstairs. Like, you need to, I guess, get used to how the AI works in terms of, like, yeah. these yaks. Because you, you're, like, letting them get uh, flank you. So, yeah, so again, in that case scenario, I would have blown an M IMB on that and definitely tried to pull at least one of them up. There's no point in, like, having them all be down there and you not having cut the pack down. The whole point of stair pulling is to decrease the amount of enemies on the downstairs. See, doing that doesn't help you. You might as well have not shot either of those shots. And now you're like in a worse situation because there's two yaks and a spiny toad rather than just a spiny toad. So pull up. Right. Now you need to blink. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, no, no, no. Blink the ability. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, stop, 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 right. stop, stop. Do stop, I stop, have stop, a blink? Stop, 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 stop. Look at your inventory. Quaff. Right. You need to heal wounds right now. 
Okay. okay. Now blink the spell. Blink again. <laughs> okay. There okay. We go. No, you're not That's in a safe spot. You're still surrounded and you can't leave. So I would teleport now. Wait till it gets almost in one one tile in melee. So move back uh -huh. one. Move back one. It'll catch up. Press dot. There, there you go. we go. So the whole point of that, the reason why I said that that was not a good time to uh, to start fighting is A, you're on half health, B, your your back is against a wall, and C, you're like, you went low on mana, but there's two enemies there, and the Spine Toad's faster than you. You need to right. have the ability to figure out when you have to run away, even if it looks like you don't have to, you still have to run away in that situation. You're almost 100% dead there. <clears throat> and... Yeah, based on okay, okay, you need to slow down again. Like this, the the food is the food management, the mana management, the stair pulling management. Everything's off right now. You need to reset. You need to figure out what is going on. All right, now stop. So let me explain again how stair pulling works. When you're on the upstairs, you have a lot of choices. You can actually afford to use your mana to kill an enemy that is near you. You also want to have, if you're at reasonably high mana, you want to have one enemy in melee with you to bring upstairs so you can kill it. The whole point of stair pulling is to thin a crowd. If you have not thinned the crowd with stair pulling, there's no point in you stair pulling. If you leave an enemy on half health at a downstairs situation, you still had mana and it wasn't even in melee with you, you should have killed it. Right. Okay? What's up? I'm just deciding where to go down. Just go down that one, that's fine. Now pull uh, up. Okay. Now blink and then just melee it. Oh. I forgot I'd like. Okay. So you need to be careful because you're a deep elf. You're not a melee. You can't afford to survive all these turns in, in melee. Your your lack of like blinks and stuff really does show that you don't know how the mate like how squishy your character is, which is probably why you die so much. Like so that's that's a good that's a good symptom, I guess. There's a staff to your left. Yeah, rest on the upstairs. Yeah. Okay. And then go pick up the staff. Good. Uh, that's oh, useful. wizardry. No, you don't need it. Oh, cause it, no, because we don't have anything that's... Conjuration is okay. better anyway. Okay, just keep going. I don't think that potion of beneficial mutation is worth using 420 gold on. Because there is a chance that it could get Arc Mage, and that would screw you over, kind of. Not really, because you have such okay. low spell failure, but still. Eh, not worth it. All right. So in this scenario, what do you do? Okay, what do you that mean? was like you were kind of low on mana, and then you just rest on the spot. So, like I said, resting should never stand on the exact spot where you just killed an enemy. It should always be somewhat back uh, or somewhat okay. down. It should never be right on the spot where you killed someone. Like so, in this case scenario, I would pull left and then heal. Yeah, like left up or left down. Yeah, there you go. Rather than, like, you're also marked right now. You didn't pay attention right to that. Right now I'm marked. You got marked at some point, but you didn't yeah. see it. So you need to definitely go upstairs now. <clears throat> so those 30-ish turns that you took to take that, like, weird roundabout step for the auto-explore could have got you killed, could get you killed now. So you need to be ready to fight an enemy. But you also need to be ready to run, because I doubt it's going to be a good idea for you to fight. Okay, that's an enemy you have to kill. You cannot you cannot run away from that because it's faster than you. Wait one turn. The glass is blocking you. There you go. Now you can shoot it. Okay, good. Is it really raining outside? Oh god it is. What the hell? It's summer. That's messed up. Actually it's almost not summer now. Twentieth of January. Oh. By the way, Blue, you started playing uh, uh Stardew Valley, right? Yes I did. How long how far I didn't know you? I, I am not very far. I'm just a couple days. Damn. What's wrong with you? How did you not get addicted instantly? Um, I played an NES version years and years ago, and it kind of... That Wait. was my addiction to Stardew Harvest Valley Moon. Valley was on NES? No, no, but Harvest Moon was. It's just... Stardew, yeah, Stardew Valley is basically just like a clone of Harvest Moon. I've never heard of Harvest Moon. Actually, I've never, never played it. Of I haven't yeah, got. That's, that's I haven't got any later. The, fir the first time you play one of these games, you just get completely addicted. 
Um, oh, I've been playing, but I've been playing Animal Crossing. I've got like probably three hundred hours in Animal Crossing, like the like, DS literally light version. right right down to the putting stuff in the box and everything like that is is just like Harvest Moon. That's actually, but it's pretty much just Animal Crossing as well. I wonder why those games are all the same, but it's just so good. Though I guess you can't <laughs> farm as well in Animal Crossing. It's more like no. a social thing. Like holy shit! I'm I'm I've almost finished my first year now. I'm about thirty hours in. It's been about like maybe five days since I've played this game. <laughs> like, when I it's... when I played Har- played Harvest Moon, I was a real tryhard. Um, but this game, I'm basically just um fishing and being a slacker. I haven't even talked to everyone. Oh, it takes ages to talk to everyone though. Like, I I I didn't talk to everyone until like four or five days in. I was just like, it just took way too long. They're all over the place, and they all have different AI, and I'm like, oh, I can't find them. <laughs> like, I've actually, like, been so mad at people before, because they just disappear off the map, and you're like, where the hell are you? I'm, I've been looking for you. I know you hang out at the bar, like, every single night. Where the hell are you today, you dickhead? And then he wasn't there. Well, like, it's kind of weird, because you kind of have to stalk every single person, like, know their schedules exactly. Pretty like, much, yeah. I know. I know from three to six, you will be here. A lot of, a lot of creepy shit happens, and I'm like, thank God no one's watching. Because I'm, like, literally standing outside people's doors, like, just waiting for 9 o'clock so I can enter and give them gifts. <laughs> I'm just like, God, I have to... Because I know if, they, if if I stay away, like, they're going to leave and I'm not going to be able to figure out where they are anymore. I have to, like, body block people just to give them stuff. All right, so you picked up a book of misfortune. There's nothing in that book that's actually useful, but you might as well check. Uh, Yeah, there's nothing in there. Let's look. I mean, Call Imp isn't terrible, but I think at this point you have better things to summon, like yeah. uh, your Battle Sphere. Like, oh god, it's yeah, it's just too much. It's <laughs> like, god damn it! I've been making like so much bank though; it's messed up. <laughs> but um, Do you, huh? I mean, of just farming? No, of fishing actually, because yeah. like. I looked it up and there's like a bunch of places you can fish that like give you like really good fish. Um and I've just been like sitting there for like 12 hours a day just just fishing those spots. And I finally figured out the compost bin, like you know that forage bin, it actually sells for the same gold value as all the merchants, so I don't have to like run up to that like fisherman person and then like be oh, say oh my god, I need to sell to you and then he's already walked off I'm like fuck because if they leave oh, their counter, you, you didn't literally... know you, you didn't know you could. Dude, I put everything in that bin. I put like just everything. I put rocks in there. I have not I put, put everything. I didn't put any. I was selling legit to every vendor. It was the worst role playing experience of my life. All okay, right, in this there. scenario here, you need to probably move out of that doorway, conjure flame, and then battle sphere. So conjure flame can actually be cast on conjure flame. It's just that it it does not. Uh, lost for the full duration when it recharges. So it's not quite as good. But oh, IMB here is pretty good. Dazzling Spray is also quite good. Anything that hexes them is very strong. Where's my Dazzling Spray? There it is. Dazzling Spray can kind of act like Confusion, and it kind of can provide a little bit. See, now, I'm, right. get, now I'm getting low, now I'm getting low on mana. Though. Okay, stop here, stop here, stop, 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 stop. Yep. I like how you're like, I'm getting low on mana, and then I you continue to just <laughs> cast. <laughs> now check your abilities. So Sif Muna actually has a second ability, fun fact. It's called uh, Channel Magic. I think you might need to okay. train some invocations for it, just a bit. So yeah. let's check your skills first of all. Uh, probably turn Conjurations or Spellcasting off in favor of a little bit of invocations. We can turn it back on later. All right. Should I so, not have Earth Magic all the way up? Um, I, don't, I don't think it matters at this point. Okay. Uh, so leave, in this right? case here, <laughs> I would probably start casting my Wands of Acid. Or Ice Blast, but I think Ice Blast might extinguish that flame, so you don't want to keep that. That's your life. Yeah, right I now. don't I really want to do that. Okay, so you're in a pretty bad situation, actually, because the second the Conjure Flame goes out, you're going to get shit on. Um, because... Well, yeah, but I've got an upstairs right there. I just got okay, the so ice. what you could do is you could realistically wait till the fire is about to die out, Cast Conjure Flame on the fire, and then run to the upstairs, and they won't be able yeah. to chase you through. But it's going to be pretty scary, depending. So stop using Magic Dart. You need AoE now. Your, your Magic Dart is not as helpful as AoE in this case. It's not as efficient. I would start using Wands as well to start supplementing the attack. 
So here is a good time to acid board. Shoot down the line. Try to hit. Okay, I think you actually missed a B there. You could have hit the third B, the fourth B underneath, uh, fourth enemy. Okay. So press, yeah, use it again, but aim at the back B. Oh wait, no, one of acid got nerfed. Oh, all right. the way down here. No, no, it got nerfed. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, there you go. That's good enough. All right. Um, IMB here is pretty good because it's if it explodes, it takes out a lot of them. Just aim at the front guy. It's not gonna hit anyone else. Oh, okay. All right. All right I want to leave enough for the Contra Flame. Um. You can cast one more. Contra yeah. Flames. You'll you'll regen enough and uh mana anyway. Also remember that you have plus cast on. That's fine. Oh, All right. Now's that. a good time to back off. Now's a good time to back off. Reason being, the first enemy is not uh close to you. You're low on mana, and you've killed a lot of the pack already. So when you go down, the next fight will be less uh less dangerous. All right. That'll sphere up immediately. Great. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm just gonna sit here and kill them as they come up because I'm on the stair. Yep. Oh. Uh oh. Here we go. So against enemies that are high evade, I wouldn't blow, but low health, I wouldn't blow all my mana on. Uh, I wouldn't blow all my mana on IMB at long range because first of all. IMB is not as good when you shoot it at long range. It's only one okay. shot rather than like the double hit it normally does. Secondly, um, your magic dart won't miss and it also will deal enough damage to the low health wyvern. And also it doesn't waste as much mana. So in that, in that case there, you wasted a lot of mana on the wyvern, which meant that your Komodo dragon had to make you dip into the negative mana, which is not something you want to do. Okay. The negative mana is like literally a, a, a like, it's a buffer. You don't want to have to use the buffer. Unless you're like really confident, like when I played Sif, then you can just use the buffer as much as you want. You can actually use the buffer. But for your case here, you don't you want to use your buffer as an emergency escape rather than as a uh as a strong abusable tool. Uh same 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 concept here. Uh good to use the magic darts on the blink frog rather than the IMB. IMB will kill them, but it will be a lot less mana efficient. The explosion's not okay. even that necessary. Alright. Classic, just kill them. Like you need to figure out why, how, and when to use your spells. I you can you can really tell like using IMB on a single target like that was not necessary, especially because the target was such low health and high evade. Like you need to figure out exactly where you should be using it. You use IMB okay. when you shouldn't, and you use you don't use IMB when you should. So it's it's a matter of having to switch around that idea. You need to figure out where it's most efficient to use it, um, basically. All right, that's good. So you cleared the B vault. That makes a lot of this floor less dangerous, but like you pretty much only cleared like maybe ten percent of the vault uh, of this uh, floor side. So you've got to still be careful. The vault. I don't think the vault uh, enemies count as actual enemies. So like in terms of like the vault, uh, the floor. All right, I'm getting confused now. Don't worry about it. Never mind. This advice is too hard for me to explain. <laughs> Basically, you killed a lot of enemies, but that doesn't mean you cleared the floor. Wand of right. Scattershot. I don't know what that is. Can you check that? I haven't seen that before. A Wand of what? Scattershot. Shift A. What does it do? Exactly? Uh, no, no, just okay. IA. IA. Shift A. Uh, oh, okay. It's shit. Never mind. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Just shoot it on, like, low evade enemies. It's, it's the old wand rod. I thought it was, I thought it was a shotgun. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. But it's just a shitty gun. Never mind. All right. That was good movement. Good movement. Slightly less good movement. Significantly less good movement. See, like your first two steps were great, and then your next step was terrible because you blocked your iron, your battle sphere. Oh, okay. Like it's just little things like this, but it's in every single fight. Like you really need to. Um, I guess if you're not used to it, you really need to pay attention to how you're doing it because, like, it's showing a lot about. Okay, so that's not a great rest place. I don't, I wouldn't recommend that okay. because you rested right next. You rested more into the unknown than you were before, so you need to not rest <laughs> there. All right, okay. keep going. Pull back. Pull all the way back to the open space. You'll dodge better. Use the diagonals, man. Use the diagonals. Why you be in? Come on. Or um. Seven nine one three, depending on which one you use. 
I don't know why you did you just recast Battle Sphere again? No, oh. I don't think so. Oh, I was like, because it like kind of just no. stood there. Okay, anyway, just keep going. All right, good. Because it's, it's not. Like I don't know where to rest here. You know. I would have pulled back into the left, into that little cubby okay. hole, um, created by the doorway. That's probably the best place to rest. Yeah, see, so there's a magic dart that just didn't get the IMB shot. Oh, sorry, the battle sphere shot. Here, battle sphere's uh, IMB was better. In melee, aim to the right. Yeah, to the right. Do it again. Shoot at his feet. Shoot at his feet. Okay, now you no 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 okay okay look you gotta stop you if you're not a robot man you're not a robot okay right. the second the situation changes the old advice no longer applies in this case here <laughs> you're in melee with a bunch of enemies that's starting to surround you what do you do I don't know blink maybe let's see how you handle the situation <laughs> Jesus Christ okay that's one way I guess that is that is definitely a there is an A, B, C, and D, and you definitely did pick one of the four options. Uh, just as a hint, the other option was play smart, and the other option was control Q. Yes, that was. These are all equivalent options. So, like, I'm not gonna judge, but one of those was a lot closer to the one that you picked than the other. I'll let you decide which one that was. Christ, this is actually insanity. Go check your skills. Check your ability. Mm -hmm. Check your A. Press oh. A. No, 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 no. A. A like, ability. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, you got to be constantly diagnosing these kind of like your character. You got to be constantly like checking, to make sure that your character is in the right direction. So, channel magic is still low, right. so that's good. You can continue playing. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. Also, you're not using okay. Iron Shot at all, so I assume that that means it's not that necessary. I would turn Iron Shot off for now. Okay. And I would probably put uh, either in Conjurations or Dodging. Um, I kind of want to kill things. Okay. Let's see. You need to think about like you need to think about like um exactly what you're using to kill them. Right now, everything is like performing very well. So it's a question of whether you want to waste more EXP on Conjurations in hopes that you get something right. big. Or you continue to train defenses, and and that means that whatever big spell you get in the future won't be as readily accessible. So it's up to you. <clears throat> like I said, crawl skill training is not clear cut. It is not something that you can easily quantify as you're wrong and I'm right. However, there is sorry, it's not something you can easily quantify you're wrong and I'm right in the context of two greater players who have played this game for like at least a year who have a certain minimum benchmark of skill sorry that w i had to like clarify that because people will then use my my words to say like uh, you're wrong i'm right uh I, you can't <laughs> say that i'm wrong I'm, I'm not the best and they're just training like fighting i'm oh, sorry they're training like a uh, weapon skill on a mage and they don't have a weapon of that choice like they have a dagger and they're training long uh short blades but the dagger's unbranded it's like that's definitely wrong because you don't need to do that but i'm saying like right. Once you no, get to a certain skill level, yes, you, you can say that there's different approaches and different ways to train. Right now you're taking mostly my approach, though at this point I would have probably, I guarantee you I would have already deviated at this point from the way that this skill training has gone. But that's okay, that's still acceptable at this point in time. I will say this though, at some point you're going to have to get some defense. Alright, so, take a break, okay, just, okay, just bum rush it, that's fine, whatever, just do it, just, just get it done, just finish it off. <laughs> Blast them up. So here, IMB would have been a lot more effective. I would have, I would, yeah, step all here is good. Like, I would have used IMB here because the chance to explode and kill more than one enemy is more enticing than using the extra mana. Uh, is, is more enticing than guaranteeing a hit on the spiny toad, uh, on the blink frog. You need to not go down that downstairs because the spiny toad is a dangerous enemy in melee, especially for a mage. So that right. downstairs will now be ignored for it's, now. It, it, Just it, go to a different one. No. Yeah. All right, this That's is the worst one. downstairs, but you can actually <laughs> take an enemy with you. So I would probably yeah. use an IMB right now. Don't cast Battle Sphere. Battle Sphere is a setup spell. All right, now pull. That's acceptable. All right, IMB. 
So you need to figure, like, I have a feeling you're going to cast Battlesphere there, and you need to know that Battlesphere only works if you're going to have it there for a long duration. So now you need to go down. Well, I mean, aren't, aren't there like, aren't there like four of them? Why didn't the others come up? A couple of reasons. First of all, some of them blinked. Some of them right. weren't actually in melee with you yet. It's just it just looks that way because of the way the engine works. And, right. Uh, you know, not all, and because of the limited space, not all of them would come along. But it, well, that that's might. why I, that's why I cast Battlesphere. I thought there were there were three. No, no, no. But at least I'm saying casting Battlesphere upstairs is fine. But I'm saying down there, it was not right to cast Battlesphere. You're wasting a turn because you're you're not going to okay. be able to have time to use the Battlesphere. All right, this okay. downstairs is not that hospitable either. I would cast Battlesphere now, not IMB. You need to pull up right now. Oh. Pull up right now. Okay, no. All right, fine, whatever. That's I would have pulled no, up, gone to full what, mana. What's, and then, yeah. what's here? Uh, look to your right. That's yeah, they're the, over there. Okay. They're right okay. next to you. It's not a situation where you want to be using IMB on an enemy that's crap and sleeping uh, while there's like a 15 billion other enemies on the right side, basically. That's okay. that's the, like the goal. You need to remember that like spells create noise and naturally you're a noisy spellcaster. And as you can see, okay. enemies have a chance of just popping up because of your noise. Now you're, now okay. you're basically surrounded again, um, which is the issue. You need to pull up right now. All right, great. Now blink. Now you can do your stuff. The reason why I made you blink there is because you were slightly surrounded, and also because they were. Um, it would have given you a better line of fire. the The AOE that you had there was not great. There's only two blink frogs down there. It's actually a feasible pull down. Now you can pull up. Okay, no. See, fighting on these grounds is not amazing. Um, the better choice probably okay. would have been to pull upstairs, take one blink frog or two blink frogs. And then blink them upstairs uh, and blink okay. after the fight. Mostly because in this case, you're not only fighting two blink frogs, you're actually fighting two plus a possible six. So it's better okay. for you to, to stair pull there because it's safer. Yes, you could kill all of them conceivably. It's actually not even that hard, but it's a risk management thing. Blink frogs are faster than you. They hit decently hard on low armored enemies and they come in packs and they have a very, uh, they have a penchant for surrounding you. So it's best to try to uh, split as fast as you can. So Okay, I understand. That's all right. Like, I just let you play the scenario out because, like I said, it's better for me to explain to everyone anyway. So I'm just going to just go ahead and explain. It's fine for you to clear this floor as long as you're not at low health, um, whatever. <clears throat> so in this case here, once you magic dot, you should be backing off. You know that Lair is full okay. of pack enemies. You know that Lair is full of enemies. You know it's a very open space. You should be backing. Not to the ups, not all the way to the upstairs, but like just two, three tiles back, so that the the okay. leash range for the yaks becomes different. Like you don't want to have the yak attract the entire pack. They move one tile forward, all of them see you, and suddenly you're chased by a herd. You'd rather be shooting one magic dart, pulling back, and then letting that yak follow you alone. That's the right. essence of sp uh, pack splitting. You basically have to master it for to be a real cool guy mage. I'm sorry, just one second. Alright, so welcome back to my uh, let's play of Blue Scion the, the Thaumaturge. Apparently uh, she's left because she couldn't handle me roasting her for 15 minutes straight. But that's okay. We're going to go through uh, the character. Oh wait, we have no control over this character. I fucking hate this game. We're just going to have to wait for her to come back. Alright, sorry about that. That's okay. That's unprofessional. I'm reporting you to the the YouTube police. <laughs> Unprofessional. Unprofessional. Also, uh, my ad, my Am ad. Am I sense, being paid? <laughs> yeah, the YouTube dollar that I owe that I pay you. Um, apparently, I, uh, Google sent me an email um today. Uh huh. Like, sorry, not an email, an actual mail, uh, with my AdSense account, which was really scary because I was like, how do they know my address? And I realized they must have taken it off my credit card or something. Nah, I think I may have given it to them. Polar bears are not an enemy that you want to fight with magic dot. Probably want to hit him with something beefier, like iron shot. Just because they come in, like, if they come in packs, you don't want to ever have them at low health because they'll start berserking. Like, right there, like, uh, you move the tile, giving him a chance to berserk. Don't let him berserk at low health. <clears throat> okay, so you're running kind of low in mana. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, actually. Yeah. You're good. 
Go get a polar bear corpse. Oh. Okay. You need to really stop with like the, the lag. You're not lagging. You're playing on your home server, for God's sake. It's like you see an enemy, you move three tassels, and then you're like, oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Come on, well, man. Normally I would have just gone back to the stairs. Hold yeah, on. but that's why you're hungry see. all the time. You you wondered why you're hung out of food all the time. It's because you're, like, <laughs> that's wasting what food. She, she what starved happened? to death on a deep elf. That's sad. You I have, didn't like, starve, actually. You have, like, infinity spell casting. I did not starve. I came close, but I didn't. You had almost one chunk of food left. Oh god, dream sheep. <laughs> Take her out. God, am I gonna have to leave now? Someone's calling me. That's right, I'll just ignore him. It's fine. <laughs> Is that how things are done? There we go. It's been 35 minutes. You've cleared four floors. This is possibly the slowest recorded series of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. How long have we been playing? Press Shift E. Uh, probably Shift E. Two hours and thirty. <laughs> Twenty-four. Holy shit! Well, I'm not obviously. I'm not this slow when I when I normally play. Yeah, so um, you say. So you say. I'm just not. I'm not used to playing with other people, and I really want to kill that thing. You can. <clears throat> just hit him with your he... heaviest spell. Don't move outside one tile. Don't 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 move closer to it. You have to hit it with magic dots then. You don't want to ever have to back off. Uh, two tiles against that kind of enemy. Like, look how much damage he does. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I've... Okay, you have absolutely no sense of, of priority at all. Like, I'm oh, sorry, you, you have, you have, it's like, whenever I watch you, like, people play and I tell them how to play, they absolutely do not deviate a single bit from the way I, from what I tell them to. Unless it's you, then you just kind of like don't do the things I want you to do, but that's fine. But like, could have picked the amulet up, could have gone upstairs, uh, could have stood on the upstairs, and then identified the amulet on the upstairs. But instead, you go to the upstairs, rest, and then go pick up the amulet, and you haven't identified. It's just like it's just so inefficient. Oh, oh, it's just, okay. It's just like those little things. I'm just like, why, why? Let's see. Like rest here, Let's and then you can ID. Yep. No, I thought we found. I don't know if we found the Guardian Spirit. Let's see. Reflection. Put it on. Yeah. Good. Also, there was a staff over there that you missed. Wasn't it dead? Also, your stones were an auto pickup. Stop, please. <laughs> Feeling sad. <laughs> Let's see. There's just like so many things that you miss, but I'm like, ah, oh, should I say something? Should I not say something? <clears throat> there we go. All right, so oh, this okay. Uh, it's uh, it's up. It's to the north. Did okay. you not? Did you not see it, or did you not? Okay, stuff of energy is not bad, but I think at this point in time, it's not. It's not worth it. So just uncurse it. Go back to that conjuration stuff. All right, there we go. Man, these videos are long. I'm sorry. You should be. <coughs> uh, see, as as the series goes on, the sorries get like the the response gets like, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine." To yeah, you sh yeah, you really should be sorry. I I, sh I should be sorry. It's just the natural progression of the banter. Don't worry about it. We're we're just we're just <laughs> slowly dialing it up, classic Australian way. <coughs> God, I can't clear my throat. I hate it so much. <clears throat> Oh, that's right. Just leave. You can go downstairs. Yeah. What? Why is my phone net not working? That's weird. I'm so sad. But okay, now we're. You done. have a ring, by the way, that you didn't ID. You also have I stones know, in your inventory. I know. Okay. Okay. We'll get rid of them. There you go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Why see. do you sound like you're about to cry? I'm Turn, not about to cry. Drop the flame. I'm, I'm, that's that's drop, me. Laughing. Drop the flame. ID the scrolls. Like, come on, man. Drop, drop some of those books. Like, like this is too. This is too much. This inventory management should not take this long. It should have been done. Come on. 
Now I'm teaching you how to be a foster player too, because this is taking too long. <laughs> this, this is, is the, taking too long. Okay. This is legitimately gonna like I I know I was, I was like J K Lols when I like started. I was like, oh, it's gonna be fourteen. It's gonna be like half a month. It's literally gonna be half a month to finish this game. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right, you can remove curse that. Yeah. I'd also just start reading the scrolls willy nilly. I don't think any of them are actually that useful anymore. But that's up to you. You can also ID them. Sure, let's just read them. Why not? God. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. Brand no, weapon. You don't want. You no. Damn it! Oh <laughs> god, the protection is well, actually it, it, the useful one. You need to drop that flail now. It's useless. I got. Right, I got a Scroll of requirement. Stop. 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 Okay, so in the new meta, basically armor is the only one of any worth, pretty much. Evocables are shit. <laughs> Star staves, yeah. you have all the good ones already. Weapons, you don't use. Right. Jewelry, you can right. use, but it's a complete shit show. Like, it's absolutely, like, just RNG. Food is yep. not that useful because it's not that great. Book is very short term, but book could give you something good. But your Sith Mooner, you'll eventually get it anyway. So you could also get gold if you want, but it's not going to have any worthwhile use no. right now. Uh, let's get armor. So armor is probably the only one you go. Alright, here we All right, go. Boots. If it's if it's uh if it's running you're running. pretty good. Flying oh, is also fine. really good. Okay. Uh but the stealth is better right now because plus two AC. But um in shoals and stuff, bits of flying will be better. Even at the cost of two AC. Why do you have an uh, why do you have a flame one in your inventory? That's kinda weird. I don't know actually. Let's drop it. You shouldn't be IDing these wands anymore, by the way. They're not really that great no? anymore, and the potions are more important. See, you only enchant, like, you need to understand when to not identify and when to actually identify. You identify the wands when they're actually really useful and you need every single charge. Right now, you don't care about the charge anymore. Because even if you run out, it doesn't matter. Right? So the point, the point that I was trying to make here is that you need to figure out, like, when you should be IDing stuff. Also, the flail of freezing is gone. We've spent literally 10 minutes doing just inventory management. You can go downstairs now. Alright, great. Perfect. So that scroll over there is not going to be a requirement, so it's probably reasonable for you to just read it straight up. But if it's a torment, you should probably read it upstairs. <clears throat> Alright, kill that, kill that, kill that. Yep. Alright, good. Silence. Oh, Drop silence. That. You're never going to use it. It's literally the worst scroll. It's worse than torment for you. <laughs> There you go. All right, cool. So in this case here, the question is: Do you want a battle sphere first, or do you want to cast spells first? And it no, seems I tried the iron shot. Yeah, use iron shot again. It's fine. It's not the wrong answer. Okay, we got him. I actually, I, I would have definitely used spells as well. I wouldn't have cast battle sphere. I think that casting the battle sphere would have taken too long, and it would have been faster to just kill it with IMB. I wouldn't have used iron shot because it's a bit more inaccurate, but that's fine. Same thing. It's an equivalent answer. Alright, another book. Oh, Go that? pick the book up. Book of the Sky. So that gives you Airstrike and Tornado, but I don't think you're going to be using those. Summon Lightning Spire is a decent one, but I don't think I want to make this game any slower than it already is. Uh, I, I've never used any of those spells, so... Christ, no okay. Um, Alright, so next video we're going to have Ultraviolent come with us uh, for a three-man <laughs> tutorial, um, and we're going to teach her how to use Lightning Spire, so... I'm going to have to actually wait for uh, Ultra to come back from wherever he is. Probably India. Uh, I don't actually know where he is right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and guess. Um, but yeah, I think he's there. I don't know if he's watching these videos because I haven't seen him at all, but I have seen him comment for some reason. I don't know what he's... Jesus what Christ. Okay, you need to back up right now. What is that? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Okay. Against enemies that are faster than you, you need to stop moving. Okay? Because the okay. movement is what might actually kill you. You need to think more closely about how you move. Because you're actually just okay. shortening the distance. So I'd move diagonally right. down. Down left. Yep. Okay, now I would start shooting. Like, okay. uh, like around here is where I would start shooting. Rather than just moving in a straight line. Okay. So you need to probably use the Wand of Acid right now. The way that your AoE is hitting is not effective for this situation. You need to hit him with the Acid. Oh, wait, right, it's not full tile screen. Damn it. God damn it, Trunks. <laughs> Alright, uh, scatter shot could work. Is it full screen? Just check. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that actually seems now. to hit that guy, though. I don't know why that is the okay. case. Well, um, you could try that. Oh, no, you're scatter shotting your battle spin. No, 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 that's not worth it. 
Uh, yeah, IMB could work. <laughs> Never mind, IMB works. Hmm, someone can hit two though. It's not effective. Okay, Acid Wand here. You need something that pierces through them. Okay, I understand. Yep, so you can actually hit... Okay, yeah. Yeah, Battle Sphere. Okay. And... Ooh, do you want a Battle Sphere again, or do you want to cast two more IMBs? That's the question. I kind of want to cast two more IMBs. Alright, two more IMBs it is. Alright, in this case here, you're okay, but I think that the Battle Sphere might have been the right choice. But it's fine. Okay. Like you don't, you wouldn't know so, this from just like. So what? Do, it. What do you do now? You just, you just blink, or what would you do? No, here? no, I this just keep enough. fighting, keep fighting. You have, you've already all in basically. Okay. Okay, now hit him with the scatter shot, or yeah, oh. or corrosive bolt. Wait till he gets kind of close, and then hit him with an IMB or an iron shot. Actually, hit him with an iron shot. Can I cast iron shot? No, I can't. Why not? Because I don't have any mana. Cost it anyway. Oh right. <laughs> what are you weak? Cost it. This is a, this is the first time I've used. There you go. <laughs> I, I this literally, is literally the first time I've ever been in layer with Sifluna, so I don't. Literally, my advice was cost it anyway. I don't give a shit. Just cost it. Yeah, see, that wasn't a wasn't as smart a pull. Uh, you could have lost a lot more health than that. You're very lucky. Eat your food. Eat your food. So don't heal before you eat your food. <laughs> God damn it. Eat <laughs> okay, your damn okay. food. Eat your, eat, eat your bones. Alright, so that's a lot of spiny toads you got rid of. That's good. That must have been like the, the vault, right? No, it's not the vault yet. Maybe spiny what toads just come that? in packs now. Who knows? Oh, okay, yeah. I doubt that's it. Great. I hope not. If they do, this game is just completely fucked. There is no hope <laughs> left for this game. Okay, okay, see, in this scenario here, the best idea is definitely not to corner yourself like you have just now. You exposed way too much of your flank to the, uh, from, from the north and to the... Why are you using Magic Dart on a Hydra? Luke, c come on, man. Come, just... Wait a minute, you literally said to use it on a Hydra. In your, um, Deep Elf Con... I'm gonna get the timestamp. At full screen, yes, but not when it's right next to you. You should probably be panicking a little bit more than that. And you're letting a Black Mamba come in contact with you at 7 mana, that's... God, that is just... Oh, this is suicide right now. Leave. Go upstairs. Quick. Panic. <laughs> you should be panicking a lot more when you... Uh, like, oh, I'm God. panicking. There's elephants. <laughs> you don't panic when you should, and then you panic when you shouldn't. You are basically fucked right now. This is not... Uh... That was not the right move at all. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Torpor snails is okay. not something, are not something you fuck around with, especially around... Oh, God. Wow, your answer was to fight there. Jesus, pull upstairs right now. That was not the answer I was going to go with. <laughs> That's fine. Teleport now. Teleport now. You teleport. Okay. Now blink. Okay. Now IMB. Oh, okay. Didn't matter. Pull what? pull down left. Down left. Down left. The second you teleport, you shouldn't just be resting. <laughs> no, okay, it's fine. Pull up. Up left. Way. Up left. That's fine. Can't I just go upstairs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just, Pull up just, I'm just gonna keep running. How about that? You need to figure out like that after you teleport, your instinct should not be to rest on the spot because you need to get yourself into a safe spot. Because if you teleport right into the open, it's still not safe. Right. Okay, so you need to go and clear out that stuff that you stair pulled earlier. Hello. Um, did I DC or did you? Uh, looks like it's not me. Blue sign is not responding. Okay, that's... See, this is the problem with uh, online stuff. You can, you can never actually tell if someone's muted or... Okay, well, for now, we're just going to have to end the video because uh, recording difficulties. It's about 50 minutes anyway, so it's a long video. So Blue, Blue has left the building, um, probably rage quit. But we'll see. Uh, thank you guys for watching for now. And I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, Blue would say goodbye. Oh, wait. No. Wait. Hello? Nope. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to work. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll let her know that um, the video ended. Uh, you guys just stay Hello? home and relax. God damn it. I just finished the video. I'm, I'm going to end <laughs> recording in 10 seconds. All right. You better say goodbye right now. All right. Goodbye. Alright.